Hey everybody, Zach here from Reptile Creation, and this week I want to share a new terrarium project with you guys. I did my first video on it last week. I uh, drew out this thing. So this is going to be the uh, face of it. Last week's video was titled uh, Ancient Temple Terrarium Project, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'll have a link to that right in the corner here. And so this is what I'm going to be starting with. I've got my X-Acto knife here in my hand as well. And uh, I just want to start carving this. Whenever you use a carving knife like this to uh, cut out styrofoam, if you're working on a project of your own, you want to be very careful. The uh, the blades are very flimsy. They do bend quite a bit as uh, they will break as you work with them sometimes. So you always want to be cutting away from yourself. You never want to cut towards your own hand. So remember, you can get hurt doing this stuff. So uh, be careful. But other than that, um, I'm going to get outside and start carving this thing up and uh, just share with you the concept art that I started out with to do this project. Okay, so as you can see, I've got this thing really starting to have some texture on the surface of it, but I wanted to move on to uh, cutting out some new pieces to start to build up the background because this is going to be the warm hide. So it's going to sit in the terrarium kind of on an angle like this. So I'm going to cut a few pieces to create a back wall and corner, and then I'm thinking a few stairs up the back side over here. So uh, once I get a few pieces cut and stuff like that, I'm going to get this thing glued together. And then I'm going to continue on to cut these uh, grooves in the face of this thing a little bit deeper. Okay, so right now I just want to show you guys how I decide how my uh, warm hide will be laid out. The way I do this is I figure out about how big my heat pad is going to be. And I've got these two marks here. These are about where I want the edge of this thing sitting because uh, that's about how wide, about 10 to 12 inches is roughly how size, how wide the warm area is going to be in this terrarium. So I just sit this thing on those lines and then I trace the back edge of everything. And the uh, openings of any entrances that I want on it. And that's, then I'll slide over to this end and just make a basic line so I have some kind of shape there. So 
I'll probably make sure that continues off of that edge. So that'll be the space where my warm hide will be and I can just trace out a shape that'll kind of mimic the shape of the heating pad that will be underneath all of this. guys have seen me put this thing together um, you've seen me carve out the face I used my car, uh, my exacto knife to cut a nice bevel so that this lid could sit here so I could reach my hand inside this thing and uh, grab the geckos when I need to get at them and now the last thing I'm gonna do is put some gorilla glue in between all these joints to create the structure for this hide and uh, other than that, I'm gonna glue this thing on after this is all solidified because I do want to be able to clean this up and cut out the base um, before I film my video for next week. Um, but I did want to get these cuts in this face deeper and stuff like that. So that'll be, I'll show you that in next week's video when I do some sanding and cleaning up of all this stuff. But for now, I'm gonna throw the glue on here and leave you guys with that for this week. So here we go. things on top of here just to weigh it down so nothing moves around while that glue's drying and that's all I'm gonna do for today because I gotta wait for this to solidify and then I can continue working on it so I'll be filming in the meantime for next week's upload getting all this texture into the face a little bit deeper and I'll be sanding that up and bringing you some awesome stuff next week so if you haven't already make sure you like comment subscribe do whatever you do to show me some love and have a good one, guys.